Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to follow the center to Minneapolis. Well, we're supposed to climb your temperatures. Yeah, the, <laughs> this ain't sounding good. We we got we got a lot to work with here. But the doctor is in the house. Let's get the sounding better. Okay, I performed a little bit of surgery, and this is how I've gotten it to sound. It is a hundredfold better. Let me show you how I did this. A quick disclaimer, this is only going to impact your live stream. So if you're Twitch streaming on OBS or Slobs, or if you're recording YouTube content or podcast content, it's not going to impact how you sound over Discord. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and download this VS2 plugin. It works in your OBS and your Slobs. I'll have a link to the website. If the website link doesn't load, don't worry, I've uploaded it inside of my Discord in case because sometimes the link is a little bit broken and the site is down so go ahead and download that the next thing is I want you to open up your OBS or your slobs and make sure that the correct headset is selected as your audio device sometimes if you have multiple microphones or like a USB microphone it might pick that up instead so go ahead and make sure that is your primary aux as you can see here in OBS here it's picking up my microphone here as I am speaking so the first thing we want to do is we're going to be adding a few filters now I'm just going to browse over my filters and show you what I've been using but I want to say that it is also dependent on your voice the way the pitch and the tune of your voice is going to mean that some of the settings might have to be altered a little bit and I'll show you how you can listen back and adjust so the first thing is we want to click on this cogwheel over here and we want to go to our filters and the first thing we're going to add is an expander so just click this plus icon and you can click expander there if you're on slobs you actually have to search it if i'm not mistaken unless there's an update i moved over from slobs to obs i highly recommend you do that as well it's just it's worlds better okay so you add in your expander and these are my settings so feel free to just pause the video copy and paste or type it out as you pause it through here so i'm just going to go through it so we have my ratio at two we have my threshold at minus 40 decibels my attack at 10 my release at 50 milliseconds and my up again is just i get to zero that's just going to increase the volume of your voice or decrease the volume of your voice then we're going to go to the gate over here which is underneath your expander settings and make sure it's set to 10 then your threshold minus 40 your attack 10 you release 125 milliseconds and you're up again again there is 10 so i'm just going back to expander the next thing we want to add is a compressor and here my settings are very simple yeah it's 16 for the ratio 1651 there threshold is zero attack 500 milliseconds my release is 379 milliseconds my output gain I've actually upped it a little bit by 0.60 just that it actually boosts my voice when it's, when it's a bit too soft and then here we want to add in our VST plugin so if you've installed it correctly and here as we come to the VST plugin you're going to want to run the install on it when you install it make sure to close your OBS or your slobs I get a lot of comments saying that it's not working or not showing up but you just need to install it close your OBS or your slobs restart it maybe restart your computer then reopen it and if you click this plus icon it should show up here as VST 2x plugin now essentially you're going to then come into this VST here it's going to say please select a plugin and you're going to select the Marvel GEQ and once you've done that you can just say open the interface when active and then what's going to happen is it's going to open up this over here now this over here allows you to customize how you want your voice to sound. Like if you want it bass here, if you want it more higher pitch, if you want it more dynamic, there's some presets over here. I always click bright and bassy, and then I play around with it when uh, I want to adjust my voice. So how do you actually adjust your voice? So you want to click here on this cog wheel. This is your settings here. And you want to go to advanced audio properties. In here, what you want to do is you want to find your mic, and then on monitor off, you actually want to select monitor and output. And that's going to allow you to hear yourself as you're speaking in real time instead of having to record yourself and then listen back, record yourself, listen back, record yourself, listen back, because that can get a bit tedious, especially when you're fine tuning how you want your voice to sound. Now, this is a very simple solution. It's a very quick and easy win in dealing with headset microphones. If you're live streaming, you just started out, you don't have the budget for a USB microphone, but what I do want to say is that a headset mic cannot compare to a USB microphone and I would highly suggest a Razer Siren Mini or another there's 
a Razer Siren Mini as it is a very much affordable USB microphone that can sound absolutely amazing and I have a guide just like this showing you how I got my Razer Siren Mini to sound which is going to play up next so make sure to check that out if you're looking to upgrade your streaming setup your YouTube setup your podcast your mastermind setup whatever you're planning to record and I hope this video added value so I'll see you in that Razer Siren Mini video